Hello everyone, this is KJ and welcome back to Planet Crafter 1.0. We're on Season 5, this is Episode 5, and uh, today uh, I was working on our last Season 4, working on animals, and I reached 10.02 TTI. Very cool, right now we're on Season 5, 1.28 MTI. We need to turn that planet green. Uh, let's go ahead and load in. Alrighty, I think I turned the music off for the uh, live stream, so let's turn the music back on a little bit. And let's see, menu volume was fine. We might have a lot of explosions today. We'll, we'll see about that. Just get a little bit of music going there. I also uh, expanded my field of view just a little tiny bit. And I've lowered screen, uh, screen shake intensity uh, for people that that bothers. I've lowered it down. It's still going to shake quite a bit. Uh, graphics quality on very high. We're going to apply that and go ahead and resume. All right. I got all of these lockers filled up. Well, they're not full, but you know what I mean. There we go. And more build supply. Oh, there's some more. <laughs> more build supplies there uh, today we need to finish with the drills we have two more drills to go looks like and uh, what did we need for those build dr big drills okay oh we have four more to go my goodness can I carry four drills yes all right and for that we are going to need uh, some Iron, I think, two, four, six, eight, four more iron. And then hopefully we have that much aluminum. I don't know. We don't. But close. And we'll go get some more. Uh, how much does this need? That needs one piece of aluminum. Let's put in the water collector first. Uh, we need a cobalt. And... We need one of those. There we go. Let me just make sure that we didn't do the water collector on the last episode. No. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Or extractor, thank you so much, Gamo. There we go. We'll just plunk that down right there for right now. Let's see if we can make a couple more of these. We're going to have to go get the aluminum, of course. Oh. I don't want it to face that way. That'll be alright. Oh, one more. Let's go over here. These are going to be around, I think. These are around for a little while. We can check on that. There we go. Alright. Now, did we... I don't think we did. I was wondering if we ha uh, found any more Lerma... Oh, there is one there. Okay. Oh, we need aluminum for that. So that's our next trip. Here we go. And we'll put that away. We need water and maybe food. We got our first bean plant. Uh, and we are at 50% growth. Oh, it's the heaters. That's right. Because I didn't have enough iridium. So I also set this up. And uh, we've got the ore extractor. And I don't think I can quite make that. Let's see here. No, for that we need to osmium. Okay, so we need aluminum and osmium. And did I install the launch platform? I did. So we can get iridium with that. But we'll have to make a rocket. Uh, I think that's uh, one too many. Uh, yeah, one too many super alloys. And now I need one more. And iridium. 
These I get these two mixed up all the time. One is silicon, the other one is cobalt. And uh, this one is a heat multiplier. So that attracts uranium. What we need is iridium, although there's there's pounds of it in the world. <laughs> So we need three silicon. So let's go do that. I also put in a back door. Right there. So that's the first thing we're going to do is a rocket. To bring us some iridium. Now this will be loud. There we go. Here's our first rocket launch. It'll start coming down right away, so I need to get out of here. <laughs> Is that our first rocket launch? Oh my gosh. I think so. I can't remember. <laughs> it's kind of silly. We need to get someplace mildly safe. This might be safe. So these, uh, these meteors can hit the top of these buildings, these small single room buildings and they can come down in between the seams. I hope that Miju is working on that. One of the very few bugs. That's the fourth one. Should be one more. Is there one more? Oh, there is another one. That's a lot of iridium. There's uh, two more. Oh my goodness. You know, somehow I think that might be increased. All right. Now you can go around and pick up the iridium right away. Uh, or you can wait for the rocks to disappear. It's easier to get if you wait for the rocks to disappear. I feel like I'm going to... I'm going to eat and maybe take a second bottle of water. All right, let's go get, uh, hopefully we'll get some aluminum. Got some good music now. I know we've been uh, over here before. I don't know how much aluminum we picked up, though. We didn't pick up that crate, and we didn't put a box in there, so let's go see what's in this crate right here, this uh, blue chest. Ah, there's a couple of aluminums. There we go. Oh, that's great. It looks like I didn't pick up much of any of the aluminum yet. So there should be quite a bit of it in here. There's another blue crate over there. If I pick up too many blue crates, though, my <laughs> inventory is going to fill up. I think that is all that's back here is a crate. Oh, no, there is an aluminum here. All right, there might be a chip in there, though. There is. And food, I think we can live without that stuff for a minute. And here's another one. There's another chip. Fantastic. All right. So I'm probably missing quite a bit of this. I always have that problem with the jetpack. Somehow running on your, you know, running on your feet is better. <laughs> okay, did I look at that one yet? Yes. Oh, I've turned too far around is what's happened. Now, I used to think that this ship got better and better loot, and maybe it does, but honestly, is that light on? No, but honestly, it seems to be more RNG than time that puts more uh, boxes in there. So there can be two, three, or four boxes, and... Uh, I used to think that over time you would get more boxes. And now I'm thinking, mm, I don't know about that anymore. 
Here's another one of these. There's some aluminum. Uh, we don't need that food yet. I was hoping for a chip, honestly. We do need some air, though, pretty soon. We got this, but did I pick it up? I don't know. It's made with aluminum and super alloy. I don't have room for the whole thing. That's all right. I could drop off that cobalt and what was the other thing? Uh, iron. There we go. All right, we got some aluminum. Let's see if we can upgrade the next thing. And we also need to get uh, uh, the first drill in, which can go here. I don't think I brought enough stuff. No, I still need to go get that other stuff. And there, I'm thirsty, finally. All right. And did I pick up this one? Oh, I can't even get to it. <laughs> we'll come back for it. One of the iridium meteor meteors fell there. Almost two MTI. It's going up, but not fast enough. I'm sure on the screen the numbers are flying, though. All right, let's see here. Uh, nope, that doesn't go in there. That goes in there. That goes in there. Aluminum. Uh, maybe it'll fit in there. And those things. And three chips. All right, what's it gonna be? Uh, GPS satellite. That those uh, first GPS satellites. Uh, if you already know the map, you don't need them. Uh, the fourth one is much better, and we didn't get any messages. Okay, let's go get some osmium. Now I know that I put a uh, a hut up there, but I don't know if we can get to the osmium up there yet. We might have to go to a different place for osmium. You can get around all of this ice. It's a long trip and I've done it on past seasons before. And uh, we might just do that. So I'd like to have more than one ore extractor going, but we definitely need to get one in the aluminum. We're gonna have a storm. Can I get squeezed through there? Yes. All right, here we go. It looks like we're just gonna get a couple of these. I don't think I can squeeze through there anywhere. There's some osmium, I think it's underneath this ice right here in the entrance. You can see like a little blue glow to it. All right, well, two is enough to make the first one. Just grab a little bit of air. There we go. And there's another flower. I didn't realize we hadn't been to this chest. So just on top of this big ship here in the main area. Sandstorms are not pleasant. <laughs> not for people with me that don't have great vision to begin with. If uh, you were with me last season, you'll remember how many portals I shut down as soon as I found out that the, the ability to see wasn't great. Okay, let's see how much power we have. I think it's quite a bit. 59. Um, that and that away. And put that away. Boy, we're, we're almost out of room here. And now we need iridium. Which is outside, waiting for us. Okay. That, oh, we already did that. So we need an iridium rod. There we go. It just takes nine. 
iridium meteors drop six iridium each. Uranium meteors drop five uranium each. And there's one way out here on the edge. I don't know why it hit so far away. As you can see the little piles of rocks, two of them did. So we may as well get these ones. Get a little peek over there at the frozen area. I started a save out there to see what it was like. It's perfectly fine. It's not a problem at all. There was plenty of supplies. Do need to be careful that you don't go walking off the cliff though. Yeah, this hasn't quite disappeared. Can I get to it anyway? Yeah. Sometimes it drops up on cliffs and sometimes it falls through the cliff into the walls or into the rock rather. That can be a little bit frustrating. Looks like the ice is still over there too. So if we need to go out there, we might have to go around. Oh, some full. I'd like to get a second um, ore extractor too. Oops, that's not the right box. I need to label boxes already, and I've only got four of them. Uh, let's see here. What else do I need? Super alloy. That gives me room for that. And a titanium. There we go. Oh, it's dark. That doesn't help much. <laughs> We'll get this one going and then, um, geez, I don't know where to get osmium if everything is uh, still frozen. Unless we go all the way around, we can do that. And get this, this one going. And uh, this picks up aluminum and all of the regular stuff as well. Can I get down there now? Yes. Alright. Oh, there's a rod in there. I know I left a bunch of things like that. Rods and seeds and things. Uh, all over the map. All over this area that we've been to anyway. I don't think that any of the the sort of local uh, blue chests are going going to have uh, oops are going to have um, uh, osmium. <laughs> oh my gosh! Here we go. Oh boy. All right, now we also need um, the rest of that. We're almost there with it, I think. Uh, there it is. Uh, two silicon and a magnesium. There we go. And then we'll check the power again. Not quite enough to take down the solar panels. So let's see here if we have... Uh, that and two waters and two of those what was I gonna put away that uh, oh I didn't put the flour in the veggie tube good grief I can't tell you how many times I've done that oh we've already got four water fantastic all right there we go I try to squeeze those things together so they don't take up as much room. Now we have, we're back up to 104 power. All right, we need to change the heaters. So for that, we need the rods. And uh, we'll get 
think we might have enough there. How much room does that take? We got four more of those in there? Yeah, four, no, five more of those in there. So that should be enough to make another rod, I think. Why is that so far over like that? Uh-oh. <laughs> that might be why. <laughs> Let's put some of that stuff away for a second so I can pick that up. Now do I even have enough for one? All right. Uh, just titanium, I think. Yep, just titanium. All right, and how much room do I have? Not much. Oops, I walked past this thing. I'm thirsty. Oh, I need to go get more. Oh my goodness. Okay. I do have the rod, though. Why wouldn't it... Uh... I can make another one. I dropped aluminum. Okay. <laughs> Let's try this again. Put that away as much as I can. And let's see here. Oh, there it is. Good grief. All right. Now we're working. I think we might want more uh, heaters than that. Uh, just the silicon, okay. There we go. I think I can squeeze one in between the two rooms there. There we go. Now we've got some room. Food grower, there we go. We'll get some more of those going. Right now, I want to go and get the iridium, but I don't have room for that. Um, yeah, I probably need to do that. I don't need to carry the water. Let's go get the rest of the iridium if we can find it. I'm sure there's some still up there. It just depends on where you put your launch platform. So you just kind of need to watch where uh, things hit the ground the first time. And then as long as you stay home after you launch something and you don't go racing around, um, things should hit generally in the same areas. I know a lot of people like it when uh, all the meteors hit the lake. But I don't particularly like that because it is a little more difficult to pick them up underwater because you have to swim. And so that makes it a little slower. You can't use your jetpack underwater. I might have gotten most of it. It is, of course, easier at night. Was there any more down there, though? There's one piece. There we go. That's a dam. It sure looks like something hit up there, but I think it's just more uh, rocks that they've added uh, in the 1.0 version that weren't there in the, uh, the pre 1.0. I think there's another box over here. I don't see any more iridium, though. Uh, where was that other box? I've been flying past it for days. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> the oxygen's not doing great, you guys. 
<laughs> uh, there's food. Uh, looks like I take the whole thing. All right, here we go. Now then, we need to find another piece of osmium so I can put in a second extractor. This would be great to have more than one going. Boy, that barely fit. And that doesn't fit. And that doesn't fit. And that's full. <laughs> Everything is full already. <laughs> uh, okay. This is a bit of a risk. We'll take a hut. Yeah. And, oops. We'll take a hut and we'll see if we can find uh, Ospium. Probably all of the caves I want to go to are iced over. But uh, just in the last, you know, few minutes here today, we'll see if we can get to a little bit more. Once the ice melts, we'll have access to tons of osmium. But uh, yeah, we don't want to wait that long. Frog ponds. <laughs> I think they start appearing at like 2 MTI. It might be 2.5 MTI. I'm not exactly sure. But we're just going around the corner here uh, to see. Uh, I think that was one of the cats jumping. But <laughs> we're just going to go around the corner here to see if we can get into this osmium, uh, iridium, uh, whatever it is, cave. There might be some in that ship, too. That's possible. It is iced over. Ah, but not completely. Fabulous. <laughs> That's the only one. Oh, there's one more. All right. Hopefully we can get out of here. <laughs> Yay. Oh, there's another one. Cool. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> That's all we had to do was just sneak in and try to get some more osmium to get some more extractors going. <laughs> I didn't check to see how much power they are. 34. Ugh, we might be able to get one more going. We do need to save some power for, uh, for other things. <laughs> I really just, I always want to go right straight to the ships, but trust me, wait, wait to go to the ships. That nuclear power is really expensive and very difficult to build at this point in the game. And the other nuclear power is working fine for us. So we will hang on until we can actually make explosives and uh, do all of those things. We also need to conserve one iridium rod to set off a uranium rocket when we come back. There's probably still more iridium in that cave too. Hey, we just barely made it. Uh, 58. Yeah, that's going to be rough. Uh... 34 so we need one of the rods where did i put them oh i didn't have any left really wow five six seven ah! <laughs> and the saga continues there's that other iridium cave that we can probably get to now over in the cracked spires Oh, here's some right here. That's faster. I knew there had to be more. We saw a whole bunch of meteors fall. Did any of it fall in here, though? Sure seems like more meteors fell than the ones that I picked up, doesn't it? Here we go. 
go. I'm getting thirsty. There's a bunch over there. Whoops. <laughs> Apparently you can still jump right through that rock. Oh my god. Alright. Do we have room for that box? I don't know. Haven't I already opened it once? I did, yeah. Just pick it up. Get it out of there so don't keep looking at it. Now, uh, in uh, pre-1.0, I would leave those blue boxes because uh, every update, some of them would refill. And uh, room for one more. Up. Here we go. Just grab a quick breath of fresh air. There we go. That's where we need the second uh, extractor is in there, but I have to go all the way over there to make the rod to go back over there. <laughs> I think there's actually an iridium rod uh, in the cracked spires in that cave. If I uh, if I'm remembering that correctly. All right. Oh yeah, there's no room in there. Yep, yep, yep. Thirsty. I'm hungry. I think I have the whole thing on me. I don't. What happened? And uh, one of those. Our last one. All right. One more trip to the Iridium Cave to put in a second extractor. And then generally what I do uh, before I start an episode is I'll clear the extractors, but they won't be clear between now and the next episode. I mean, they won't be full. So that'll come later. But rather than dragging you guys around um, every time to go refill them, uh, I generally uh, just go pick them up before I start the episode. And uh, the only building that I'll do in between episodes is like what I just now did. Uh, putting in all those storage lockers and making the, the basic part of the base bigger. So next time we are going to launch a uranium rocket. And because we need power, we could make power, this big power, but we don't have that, I don't think. We have one. So we definitely need to launch a rocket uh, before we can do that. <laughs> this is a mess. Oh my god. That aluminum will fit over there. I don't want to lose track of it. There we go. Okay, so it looks like we still got two. We can make one more power. Probably can do that right now. Or we can take down the other two and make one big one. So that's 331. Those are 86 each. It is actually better to make that, but I don't have an explosive. So we cannot do that. Yeah, we need explosives. We have most of the recipe right there. But we need a special room called a um, bio lab. And we don't have that yet. Um, that is under biomass, I believe. It's the first thing at 865 grams. So we're halfway to the bio lab. We're almost there, you guys. We have a blue sky. We have clouds. I forgot I was going to look at this thing. And we're still moving on the heat. Pressure is lacking. Oxygen is, of course lacking because we don't have oxygen rockets yet but we will soon and uh, pretty soon we'll be able to take down all of these so just like the wind turbines were storing iron for us these are storing aluminum for us and then we will have all of that so that's where we're at all right you guys I want to thank you all so very much for coming along I do hope that you have a lovely evening we'll see you next time bye bye for now